the crown of Empress Eugenie. This is the consort crown made for Eugenie, the Empress Consort of Napoleon III, Emperor of France. Although neither she nor her husband had a coronation ceremony, the crown was specially created for her on the occasion of the 1855 Exposition Universal in Paris. The gold crown is set with diamonds and emeralds, an eagle and palmet motifs. The Plock Diadem This filigree diadem is wrought of extremely pure gold and set with sapphires, rubies and pearls. The diadem was brought to Poland by one of the Hungarian princesses in 1601 by the order of King Sigismund III the diadem was placed by a goldsmith on a reliquary of Saint Sigismund. The reliquary takes the form of a bust and it was established in the 14th century to compromise relics of that saint. The Crown of Boleslaw the Brave The exact origins of this Polish crown is unknown. According to legend, the story dates back to the year 1000 AD when Boleslaw the Brave, Duke of Poland, received from Otto III, Holy Roman Emperor, a replica of the Holy Lance and a crown, both symbolising royal power. The crown was lost over the course of time, possibly taken to Germany in 1036. It was only in 1320 that a new set of regalia was prepared for the coronation of King Ladislaus the Short and survived until the 18th century. The seizure of the Prussian army in 1794 had dramatic consequences. The crown treasury was plundered and the royal insignia robbed and later melted down. Based on historical drawings, paintings and descriptions, a team produced this recreation. They started in 2001 and finished in 2003. The Crown of Scotland This is the crown that was used at the coronation of the monarchs of Scotland. Remade in its current form, for King James V of Scotland in 1514. The crown dates from around 1503 when in an earlier form it was depicted in the portrait of King James IV of Scotland in the Book of Hours commissioned for his marriage to Margaret Tudor. Constructed of solid gold, the crown consists of a base with fleur de lis alternating with four strawberry leaves. The four arches of the crown are decorated with gold and red oak leaves. At the intersection of the arches is a golden mond painted blue with gold stars. The mond is surmounted by a large cross decorated in gold and black enamel and pearls. The crown is encrusted with 22 gemstones including garnets and amethysts, 20 precious stones and 68 Scottish freshwater pearls. The State Crown of Mary of Modena This is the consort crown made in 1685 for Mary of Modena, Queen of England, Scotland and Ireland. It was used by future queen consorts up until the end of the 18th century. The gold crown originally had 523 small diamonds, 38 large diamonds and 129 large pearls. These have been replaced with quartz crystal. It is 19 centimetres, that's 7.5 inches tall and weighs 700 grams which is 1.5 pounds. The crown is decorated with crosses and fleur de lis and has four half arches surmounted with a mond and cross. 
Mary of Modena diadem. Mary also had a diadem made. It was set with 177 diamonds, 78 pearls, one sapphire, one emerald and one ruby. It now contains artificial gemstones and clustered pearls. It is on display at the Tower of London. It is 8 centimetres, which is 3.1 inches tall and weighs 300 grams. The Archducal Hat of Tyrol its design resembles the original Archducal heart and depictions on coins of the Archduke Ferdinand I and Ferdinand II of Tyrol. It consists of a gilded copper circlet which rests 10 triangular gables with precious stones and ornaments. It is closed with two arches surmounted by a globe and cross at the centre. The copper circle is hidden by the crimson cap, which was originally turned up with ermine. The ermine has been lost over time and was replaced with a silk ermine pattern. Both the hat and the scepter were probably made in 1602. The Imperial Crown of Mexico The crown of the first Mexican Empire was made for Emperor Augustine in 1822. The imperial crown of Mexico during Maximilian's reign was modelled on the crowns of France and Austria. It is this unique form which appears to have been modelled. However, since Napoleon III was the main power behind the Second Mexican Empire and as an extension of the Second French Empire, the Mexican crown also used half arches and eagles on the circlet on the front, back and sides of the crown. The Spanish Royal Crown Since July 2004, the Royal Crown and Scepter are on permanent public display for the first time ever in the so-called Crown Room at the Royal Palace of Madrid. The Hamidjal Crown It was mentioned for the first time in the 15th century in the inventory of the Verrill Royal Treasury. The crown was stolen from Verrill Castle by Prussian troops in 1794 and found its place in the collection of the Hohenzollerns in Berlin. The crown was made of pure gold in the form of rims covered with a globe and cross at the intersection. It consisted of nine segments, each crowned with heraldic fleur-de-lis and decorated with rubies, sapphires and pearls. In total, 178 precious stones. It is now lost to history. The Crown of Queen Adelaide Since the coronation of Mary of Modena in 1685, English and British Queen consorts have been crowned with the crown made for Mary. However, criticism for the continued use of the crown had mounted for reasons of age, size and because it was seen to be too theatrical and undignified in the preparations for the coronation of Adelaide in 1831 it was ruled that the Modena crown was unfit for Her Majesty's use. This crown followed British crown traditions in having four half arches meeting a globe on top which was set with a cross. The crown is now stored as a shell. The Imperial State Crown It has existed in various forms since the 15th century. The current version was made in 1937. It is used at the state openings of Parliament and by the monarch after a coronation, St Edward's crown having been used to crown the monarch. The crown is adorned with 2,901 precious stones, including the Cullinan II diamond, St Edward's sapphire, the Stuart sapphire, 
and the Black Prince's ruby. The Polish Queen's crown was originally made in 1320, intended for the coronation of the Queen Consort of Poland. Since that time it served as the main insignium of the Polish Queens till the end of the 17th century. The crown was stolen by the Prussian troops in 1794 and found its place in the collection of the Hohenzollerns in Berlin. After 1809, it was destroyed and melted down. The Queen's crown consisted of eight segments, each crowned with heraldic fleur-de-lis and interspersed with smaller pinnacles. It was made of pure gold in the form of the rims covered with the globe and a cross at the intersection. The 18th century of the royal treasury indicates that it was decorated with 40 rubies, 40 sapphires and 63 pearls. The Crown of Bakya the pair of two gold diadems that were worn by the King of Bakya, they are the 154th national treasure of Korea, 30.7 centimetres tall and 14 centimetres in width. The diadems were cut from thin plate gold, which was only 2 millimetres in thickness. At the bottom are rings used to hook and attach to a royal cap, placed on both sides and would resemble wings. It is the first of its kind excavated from a backyard chamber tomb. Because those types of tombs were easily accessible to grave robbers and gives new insight into Bakya art and the culture of the Bakya royalty. The Palvi Crown This was the coronation crown used during the Palvi dynasty 1925 to 1979. It is held amongst the Iranian crown jewels by the current government of Iran. Although the Palvi crown was not assembled until the early 20th century, the stones used in its production, as per tradition, were selected from the thousands of loose stones already in the Iranian imperial treasury. The frame of the crown is made of gold, silver and red velvet. It has a maximum height of 29.8 centimetres a width of 19.8 centimetres and weighs nearly 2,080 grams. A staggering 3.380 diamond totaling a staggering 3,380 diamonds are set into the object. The largest of these is a 60 carat yellow brilliant diamond which is centrally placed in a sunburst of white diamonds. Found in three rows are 369 nearly identical natural white pearls. The crown also contains five sizable emeralds totaling 200 carats, the largest of which is approximately 100 carats by itself and located on the top apex of the crown. The Crown of Forkton the First The Crown of Forkton the First is the crown of Forkton Eli Saluk, who ruled as President of Haiti from 1847 to 1849 and as Emperor of the Second Empire of Haiti from 1849 to 1859. The crown is decorated with emeralds, diamonds, garnets and other jewels. However, it was found that some jewels on the crown were stolen at some unknown time. Due to the vandalism it suffered, the crown was transferred under high surveillance to a safe place for protection on January 31st, 2007. The Crown of Eric the 14th. This crown was made in Stockholm in 1561 for the coronation of Eric the 14th. 
The crown consists of a circlet with four large leaves alternating with four smaller leaves. Behind the larger leaves are four hoops extended in a cross. Over the crown at the top is a mund with an enamel cross. Between the eight main leaves are even smaller leaves decorated with three pearls each. The entire crown is decorated with pearls and gemstones, including rubies, emeralds and diamonds. Most of the work was originally done in a style that is typical of the Renaissance, but it was partly changed later. However, most of the crown has been restored today. One addition which still remains is the eight diamonds that are located at the top of each of the eight leaves. They were installed in 1818. The Imperial Crown of Russia This was used by the monarchs of Russia from 1762 until the Russian monarchy's abolition in 1917. The Great Imperial Crown was first used in a coronation by Catherine the Great and was last worn at the coronation of Tsar Nicholas II. It is adorned with 4,936 diamonds, arranged in splendid patterns across the entire surface of the crown. Bordering the edges are a number of fine, large, white pearls. The crown is also decorated with one of the seven historic stones of the Russian diamond collection, a large precious red spinel weighing 3,908.72 carats, which was brought to Russia by the Russian envoy to China from 1675 to 1678. It is believed to be the second largest spinel in the world. The Iron Crown of Lombardy This might be one of the oldest royal insignias of Christendom. It was made in the early Middle Ages, consisting of a circlet of gold and jewels fitted around a central silver band which tradition held to be made of iron beaten out of a nail from the cross of Christ. In the medieval kingdom of Italy, the crown came to be seen as a relic from the kingdom of the Lombards and was used as regalia for the coronation of the Holy Roman Emperors as kings of Italy. The outer circlet of the crown is made of six segments of beaten gold, partly enameled, joined together by hinges. It is set with 22 gemstones. The Crown of Baden This is a crown formerly used by the Grand Duke of Baden as part of the Crown Jewels of Baden. The crown is 26 cm high and has a diameter of 13.8 cm. The precious stones which ornament this crown are in metal settings which are attached to the circlet, much like brooches pinned to fabric. At the intersection of the four arches of this crown is a blue enameled orb and cross, both set with diamonds. The cap on the inside of the crown is made of the same crimson velvet, which also covers the reverse sides of the arches of the crown. The Diadem of the Stars the diadem was made in 1863 for the Queen Consort Maria Pierre of Savoy, wife of King Louis I of Portugal. It took three years before it was completed in 1866. It is fashioned out of gold, silver and colourless diamonds, with the largest stone in the circlet a yellow diamond called Maria Pierre. The Crown of João VI, also known as the Portuguese Royal Crown. It is fashioned out of gold, silver, iron and red velvet. 
The base of the crown is elaborately decorated with Baroque patterns and designs. It was made in 1817 and saw its last official use during the reign of Manuel II of Portugal in 1909. The Crown of Maria Josepha it was made for the Archduchess Maria of Austria, wife of King Augustus III of Poland, for her coronation as a Polish queen in 1734. In 1925, the Polish government bought the silver regalia of King Augustus and Queen Maria. These jewels were exhibited in Warsaw till 1939. In 1940, German forces stole them. Later, they were found by Soviet troops in Germany and sent to the USSR, where they stayed until 1960, when they were returned to Poland. Today, they are in the National Museum in Warsaw. The Imperial Crown of India This is the crown that was used by King George V in his capacity as Emperor of India at the Delhi Durbar of 1911. It weighs 920 grams and is set with 6,170 diamonds, 9 emeralds, 4 rubies and 4 sapphires. At the front is a very fine emerald weighing 32 carats. The king wrote in his diary that it was extremely heavy and uncomfortable to wear, similar to other British crowns. It consists of a circlet with four crosses and four fleur-de-lis. However, the eight half arches on top, which join to a typical mountain cross, point upwards in the form of a Gothic arch. The crown is the only crown of a British sovereign to have eight half arches in the style of continental European crowns. Departing from the tradition of British crowns, having two arches or four half arches. The Swedish crown. The crown was made for King Sigismund II Augustus. It consists of five large and four smaller parts and 262 precious stones including 24 emeralds, 64 rubies, 30 sapphires, 21 diamonds and 123 pearls. The Crown of the Netherlands the heraldic crown was described as a bejeweled ring, eight rising arches studded with pearls and topped with an orb and cross. The lining was made of red silk instead of velvet. The crown of Augustus II, the strong. It was intended for his coronation as King of Poland. The crown was made in 1697 by Johann Frederick Clem. It was never used, however. The crown is kept in Dresden Armory in Germany. It is made of gilded silver and decorated with colourful enamel and semi-precious stones. The Crown of Stephen Boxguy. This is a crown given by the Ottoman Sultan to Stephen Boxguy, Prince of Hungary and Transylvania in the early 17th century. It was produced from gold, rubies, spinels, emeralds, turquoise, pearls and silk. The Coronet of Prince Frederick. A relatively modest coronet was made in 1728 for Frederick, Prince of Wales, the eldest son of King George II. It takes the form laid down in a royal warrant issued by Charles II, which states that the heir apparent of the crown shall use and bear a coronet of crosses and fleur-de-lis 
with one arch surmounted by a ball and cross. The single arch denotes inferiority to the monarch and shows that the prince outranks other royal children whose coronets have no arches. Frederick never wore his gold coronet. Instead, it was placed on a cushion in front of him when he first took his seat in the House of Lords. It was used by his son, George III, and his son, George IV, and was last used by King Edward VII when he was Prince of Wales.